what's happening everybody yeah I gotta I'm gonna do a quick video with you guys today I got a call Thursday from my buddy Matt that's got the chassis shop he's finally ready for the s10 guys yeah cool awesome you know the first time around guys was kind of my fault um, you know he had an opening but you guys know that I ordered a 12 point cage and uh, I got an email a couple days later saying it was back ordered till the end of February to the middle of March. Um, and I was like, no, that, uh, you know, I said, I already got an appointment. I got to have something. So I re or canceled that order, reordered a 10 point cage. And the closest one they had of a 10 point was in Texas. So I had to order that and a motor plate. So I ordered the motor plate from Motion Raceworks. I got that in. And it was the wrong motor plate. So I called Matt and told him it was going to be, you know, another, you know, the following weekend before I could get the truck there. And he says, well, I got another job lined up that I'm going to sneak in in the meantime. And I said, that's fine. You know, that, you know, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. Um, you know, it's the manufacturers, you know, they ain't got shit in stock anymore. So he did that and he finally got that job done. So he's ready for this in which I had to order extra tubing too from Alero Steel up here in Bay City um, to go through the firewall and down to the front frame rails um, and build the tabs off of for the motor plate. So I had, it was $180 for a 20 foot stick. I had them cut it in three sections, seven, seven and a half foot sections to come down. Um, Cause they said it was running in between 22 and 23 foot, something like that. So I told them to cut it seven foot um, if they could. So we got them cut, um, we got everything here, and he called us Thursday, and uh, which was awesome. He said, you got everything? I was like, yep, everything's sitting here. He says, well, load her up and bring her to me. We, we got an opening, Let's, we'll get her here and get her knocked out. So that's what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to head over to the storage unit where I got the truck and the trailer stored and shovel it out and uh, get it hooked up to the truck. and. When the wife gets out at noon, we're going to head east, go drop it off, and uh, get this thing rolling as far as the chassis goes. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you dig in? They got it plowed out. And it ain't got to be too. Well, it doesn't look like they plowed in a while. Well, this should be fun. shovel. Ooh, we are going to need four wheel drive though. Need for 
deeper than it actually looks. All right, guys, let me get my hitch set up in the, in the truck here, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, we got her hooked up. Got the, everything hooked up there. Now, the snow is actually, I mean, there's drifts. That's all frozen to where he plowed. But I had to shovel right there. I mean, a path that way my hitch would. Um, the trailer all the way up, it's, the hitch still wouldn't fit underneath. Uh, so I had to shovel all that ice and stuff out of there. It wasn't too bad. My block, tire block, froze in the ground. I got one loose strap here and a flat. Um, one loose strap, and of course, my straps are frozen. So I'm going to have to go home and get a... Uh, that's the only one that's uh, loose. And I'm only probably, I don't know, maybe five miles from home. I'll just take it easy. The other three are tight, so... But yeah, guys, uh, there's the old future race truck for the summer finally going to the chassis shop i wish i could have got it out uh, earlier tony had a bunch of shit in the shop i could have actually pulled it in there and thawed it out for him but um that's one thing gonna be nice about when i get my garage here in the next couple weeks i'll be able to pull in what i want there's the old camper pull in what i want when i want thaw it out so if you're watching this, Matt, sorry about the, the frozenness, but all right, guys, I'm going to get this out of here and uh, get it home and get that strap uh, loosened up so I can tighten it up and uh, wait for the wife to get out of work at noon and we'll bring it back then and we'll head east, go drop this off. All right, guys, we made her over here to the wife's work, waiting for her to get out. Um, we got everything on the truck pretty much. Uh, good to go i got the tire pumped up there's her work she's going to be getting out here in a few minutes i got the tire pumped up strap all tightened up i'll give you guys a better look at this that's the 8.8 .8 rear end i was talking with matt and we might go ahead and shorten the longer axle tube which i believe is the driver's side um, I need 51 and a half inches from inside flange to inside flange in order to get the right offset of the wheels. I mean, we got all kinds of room that we can come in yet. And um, it's already got, like I said before, it's already got the Caltrack brackets hooked up. Just an old cheap set of shocks here, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this rear end up, I think for now we're gonna do this rear end up for now um i'm gonna tear the cover off it make sure it's got a good posi unit in it uh you know it could have a 410 with an open end i never did check it but uh we're also going to be putting um uh, an x brace in the frame going from back there to up here i'm building a tubular uh, transmission mount or Matt is tubular transmission mount it's getting a 12 point cage so we're gonna have the main hoop the main hoop the roof hoop our down bars for the front a cross bar that goes across the dash bar it's called you got your side bars you got two bars that come out of the firewall here and are gonna go to approximately up in here I do believe and then we have um, obviously our back bars that are going to come through the back window um, down to the inside the box here but once I get there we're going to go over a game plan I don't know if he's going to have to take the back window out um, or if we can go underneath the window through the cab that way I know it won't be NHRA legal if we go low like that, but it'll be, um, you know, I ain't never gonna be at an NHRA track with this anyway, so. But I am gonna get an OptiArmor window. I'm looking at the windshield and the back window. I'm gonna leave the roll-up side glass in it. 
Um, but if he has to go through the back window, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna get an Opti Armor uh, back window. Look at that sticker. Low roller CMC, whatever that means. But it's looking pretty good. I can't wait to get it done and actually get it in the my shop and start the. I got everything cleaned out in here. Um, I left the transmission, the factory transmission on it. That way we can get the um, dimensions off it. And uh, yeah, guys, there's nothing under under the dash is all gutted. Um, everything. So. I don't know if I'm going to put the dash back in it. I haven't decided yet what we're, what the whole scheme is, but I know it's a perfect platform for what we're doing. For It's a good start for what we're going to be doing. Um, I am going with the 427. I might change up the 427, though. I mean, it might. I've been looking on, online, and I might go with an LS. You know, a 427 Dart LS block is right around the same price as a 427 um, first gen price range to to assemble a bottom end you know a short block so I've been tossing it around um, I should probably go ahead and step into the new age but um, like I said I know I know my small blocks gen ones so it'll be new territory and I have a lot of stuff for the the first gen so that's yet to be seen but like I said, I'm just here waiting for the wife to get out of work. Um, she should be coming out any time. And then we're going to hit the road. And uh, we'll see you when we get up to the chassis shop. You casting on my promises. You know I'm too generous. Now I've learned to never help you out. guys we got the truck off the trailer we made it out here to Matt's we got the truck off the trailer and shoved into the shop and we kind of went over our game plan we got a fox body on the trailer you know forward looks like but I got this name from Bill like I said before he's got a Malibu in here his work is spot on. That's why I've been after him to get on the S10. But here's his truck, guys. I showed you pictures on my Instagram, but. How long you been working on this, Matt? Uh, I started on it last year, kind of in between everybody else's stuff. Yeah, this is the uh, first Gen S10 square body, but uh, he went uh, four length all out on this one beautiful work he does tig mig I mean the welder is beautiful wish we had the time and money to go with something like this <laughs> a lot of time and work there yeah like I said we got the RS10 in here we're getting the game plan going on so I just wanted to give you a quick shot. It's here. It's uh, getting done, and uh, we'll catch you here in a little bit. All right, guys, we made her back to the house here. Everything went well. We got it. Like I said, we got the S10 in the shop. He's going to start working on it, uh, getting the dash out of it, getting the seats out of it, getting that rubber flooring out, and uh, get to it. So I want to thank everybody for watching, uh, as usual. Um, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next video, guys. All right. Bye-bye.